Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, am I speaking to Professor Honjo? Uh, this is he. Oh, hello. Uh, my name is Adam Smith, calling from NobelPrize.org, the official website of the Nobel Prize. First of all, congratulations on the award of the Nobel Prize. Thank you very much. It's a great honor. Uh, what was your first reaction on hearing the news? Oh, well, I'm, certainly I'm very much pleased and uh, felt very much honored. It's the first Nobel Prize awarded for cancer therapy for many years. What message do you think this sends? As you say, the, for treatment, certainly this is the first time. And I think that many people tried very hard to cure the cancer. But fortunately, uh, we, Jim Allison and myself, uh, studied this uh, checkpoint inhibitor therapy. I mean, the principle, we discovered the principle. And this is uh, really working. So to me, it's uh, more than happy to see uh, many patients often I can see and telling me you saved my life. That is the, uh, my uh, most uh, enjoyable and uh, I would say I'm very pleased to hear that what I have done is really meaningful. Mm. It, it shows that you never really know which way things will go in research because you didn't set out to discover no, a cure. No. Well, you know, the biology is such a complex system. It's totally different from the uh, engineering. We cannot design. Many people try to find the therapy for cancer, but all failed. And myself, I never expected my research working on an immune system will lead to the uh, cancer therapy. But uh, so in a sense, I'm very fortunate. But I also thought about it. So, you know, you have to try many things. And if you're lucky, you can hit and but you have to pursue. That's my uh, feeling. Mm. And what is your hope for the future of immune checkpoint inhibitors? Well, there are still uh, several problems, but two are most important. One is um, uh, still only 30% uh, of patients are responding. So we wish to have some biomarkers to predict whether uh, he or she is responsive or not. Secondly, definitely, we wish to improve the efficacy of this treatment. And actually, this is the target of many, many scientists and the companies. So I believe these two problems will be solved in the uh, near future. Mm. That's a very hopeful message. And indeed, I think the award of the prize is a very hopeful sign for a very large number of people around the world today. I think so. It's encouraging. And we need the power of many, many people to push this uh, therapy in a really satisfactory level. This is just beginning of the whole story. Well, thank you very much indeed. We, we greatly look forward to welcoming you to Stockholm in December. Oh, yes, yes. I'm looking forward to that. It's, it's very exciting to talk to you, and I once again, many, many congratulations. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it.